Imagine this, you've created an awesome animation for your stream. Something like this perhaps, or maybe like this, and you've rendered it out as an AVI or MOV file. You're just trying to upload it for stream elements when you notice a problem. The file is just too big. The animation's only 4 seconds long, and you don't want to reduce the frame rate to reduce the file size, but you just don't know what else to do. Well that's where the WebM file format comes in. WebM is a file format developed by Google for modern websites, meaning it's not only lightweight and it supports audio, but it also supports transparency, which means it's perfect for your stream alerts, animations and any stinger transitions you have. And I'm going to teach you three ways to convert your Marvel AVI file to WebM. Let's get going. As always, I'd just like to remind you I stream every Monday, Thursday and Saturday over on Twitch. The link is also in the description to so make sure you come along and ask me any questions you have about streaming or motion graphics or if you want to argue about why Fiora is the best girl in Xenoblade Chronicles. And if you disagree, um, you're wrong. We're going to start out with the software I use to convert MOV to WebM. I use Adobe Media Encoder with the WebM for Premiere plugin from FNord. The plugin works with both Premiere and with Adobe Media Encoder and it makes it as simple as dragging in your file, selecting WebM, going into the settings and making sure you have the alpha channel included and that your settings match your source settings. You can do that by clicking the match source button and then just clicking the start button. This will convert your MOV file into a WebM that you can use anywhere on your stream, on stream elements, on Streamlabs, really quickly, really easily. However, not everyone has Creative Cloud, so I'm also going to show you how to use a piece of software called Format Factory by PC Free Time. In order to use it, just click on this to WebM button, add your files, select where you want the file to be saved to. I normally select the source folder, which is where your original file is stored on your machine. Then once again, just click the start button, wait for the sound, and you will have a WebM file. But Isaac, what if I don't want to download a piece of software? Well, that's fine too, as long as your MOV file is under 40 megabytes. Your AVI file probably won't be this small. So if you have an AVI file, you would probably be better off with one of the previous two solutions. However, if your MOV file is under 40 megabytes, you can use a site called aconvert.com. In order to use this, just click Add Files, select your files and upload them. Then select a target as WebM and start the conversion. Then you will be able to download your file onto your desktop and use it wherever you please. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Or if you want to start a discussion about anything stream related, Join the Discord where we have a bunch of other like-minded individuals who will be able to help you out and you can get help from me personally. Also, if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe and click the bell for notifications of when they're released. That's all from me for now. See you around, folks.